how to get the diamond camo like as fast as possible. He's probably the most awkward one out of all of them, and that's not even that awkward. Oh, you see that quad? Yo, what's going on, man? Today we're back out here with some more Black Ops 4, man. You guys know I've been grinding recently. I've been on my grind, not even just uploading, like playing the game. I'm level 55 already. Yeah. I could have prestige, but I'm holding out a little bit, like for a reason. But today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to get the diamond camo, like as fast as possible. How to get the diamond camo, the dark matter camo, the mastery camo, all of those. How to get all of those as fast as possible. Because you guys know, I mean, you already know, I uploaded diamond camo first. I uploaded the rainbow camo first. And since then, let's just say I might have got a few more camos i'm not gonna lie i'm working on a big video so make sure you guys hold out for that but yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the diamond camo as fast as possible i mean you, you can see all the challenges here we're pretty much gonna go through all of these like in terms of headshots the technical ones as well which are like revenge medals and i know i'm simply talking about the lmgs right now because that well dead ones you've seen me do <laughs> i'm gonna go into like more details i hop into a game you got revenge medals you got kills without any attachments which is quite transferable like to other weapons with attachments with five attachments actually rapid kills like two rapid kills and blood thirsties i'm gonna be telling you guys how to do all of those you can see i've got diamond and i got it pretty quick before anyone else so you should probably listen up but yo before we do get into this definitely smash like button on this video real quick let's see how many likes we can get and also if you are new around here of course we're on the way to 100k so if you can make sure you subscribe to the channel you know what i'm saying don't forget to do that Damn, we joined this game a little bit late. But yo, I learned how to inspect my weapon. Look how clean that looks, bro. It's my. So yeah, within this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to get the diamond camo as fast as possible. Now, first of all, it's important for me to mention, this is probably like the biggest tip out of all of them that I could give to you guys. People that have been subscribed to the channel for a while probably know already, but like, bro, I'm not a hardcore player. I am so, oh, whoa, that's not the one I wanted to use. I'm definitely not a hardcore player, but I'm playing hardcore right now because I'm specifically going for camos and I have to do that. The reason why hardcore is better for camos, which a lot of people, a lot of people don't seem to understand yet, is the fact that... Okay, hold up. Headshots in hardcore are so much easier and the reason for that is, bro, it's just a one shot. It's just a one tap to the head and the gun. You know what I'm saying? It's just nice and simple. You don't really have to, you don't really have to complicate, you don't really have to complicate it too much. So you guys can see I'm not really going for headshots right now, but if I was, I would be, look, that was an easy headshot and it was just a one bullet to the head. If you can just like find where they're going, it'll be nice. Whoa, we're already on green. Okay. But yeah, hopping on hardcore helps out a lot. This is for like any of the weapons, to be honest. I'm talking about ARs, some machine guns, because the majority of the weapons, like the first ones, the first challenges you have to do to unlock the tactical one. The first challenges you have to do are uh, headshots. And headshots are easier to do in hardcore because it's a one bullet kill. Now what I tend to do when I'm going for headshots, I tend to like flank around the back of it. Like I'll literally sit on the outskirts of the map trying to like find a way behind them because that's the easiest way I'm telling you that's the easiest way to get head shot a lot of the time I mean I'm kind of used to it now so I'm kind of used to like literally aiming at the oh literally aiming at the heads so it's a lot easier for me now because because I'm kind of used to it but if you're not used to it stick to the outskirts trust me like it'll make it so much easier for you because you'll be able to get behind them you'll be able to have time to line up your shirt nothing worse than like having a free kill ammo free headshot and then messing it up do you know what i'm saying so yeah so it's it's, it's too easy it's hardcore i don't know i feel like there's a lot of noobs in hardcore as well i'm gonna keep it real I'm, i apologize if you do play hardcore you're probably gonna be offended by this but a lot of noobs play hardcore so by like, all those kills right here i could have easily i think this is probably the first time these guys have seen the diamond camo but i could have easily just chilled and got headshots nice and easy but nah i'm just running around right now so first main tip make sure you guys go on hardcore easiest way you're gonna get the headshots i was getting probably about 20 to 30 headshots a game and, that, and that's a lot because you only need 100 now another general tip that i'll give you guys which isn't like particularly for any weapon it's just getting diamond as fast as possible because that's why you guys are here that's why you guys are watching this video you want to get diamond mad quick and i can understand that which is why i'm making this video i made like bro i made that diamond video the day before release and people were just wondering like wait how this man get diamond so quick so one thing you do have to forget about which it can hurt some people i'm gonna be real like, a lot of people find it mad difficult to do this for some reason me i've kind of just lost care for it which is why i find it so easy to do but you have to forget about your kd ratio i'm sorry it has to be done you have to forget about your kd ratio now i know 
that hurts a lot of people to hear. But you gotta forget about your KD. Your KD is really not that deep and it doesn't really show how good of a player you are because of course you could be going for cameras, you could be going for specific challenges and stuff like that. So I don't know, I wouldn't really pay too much mind to your KD ratio and you've got to forget about it if you want to get diamond as fast as possible. Trust me, like I used to care about KD a lot. If I saw someone with KD, I'd be like, okay, now I'm scared or now I've got to try hard or now... Oh, we could have got a free piece. Now I'm against an actual good player, but it's not that deep. It's actually not that deep. And also, if you have a low KD from doing these challenges, it kind of throws people off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I'll come in there. I don't actually know what my KD is right now. To be fair, my KD still isn't that bad. <laughs> my KD still isn't that bad, even though I've been doing it. So yeah, forget about your KD. It, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at all. So they've got UAVs. But, oh, there's another tip, actually. Rock Ghost. I rock Ghost all the time. So, they, I don't know, people always seem to manage to get UAVs. It, obviously, if you're not, like, trying your best, you know, like, just going for normal kills, they're going to get UAVs on you. It doesn't help when you're trying to get headshots, trying to line up your shots and stuff like that, and then are getting UAVs so they know exactly where you are. So, most of the time, you don't really have time to line up your shots. Oh, okay. UAV, please. Thank you. You need to like give yourself as much time to line up your shots as possible. That's like the main, main, main thing. And the more you do it, honestly, you'll get used to it. Trust me, like it's mad easy. Man, what? Here's another tip, man. Get recon. <laughs> Yo, going into like specifics now in terms of, like the tactical challenges. Let's start off with let's start off with revenge medals. Now, a lot of stuff that I'm saying to you guys is quite universal in the sense that you can do it for most. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do it for most of the weapons that you've got. So it's not like you can only do this for ARs, you can only do this for subs, you know what I'm saying? You can do it for pretty much any weapon that you want. Bro, yo, stop! Mama! <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can do it for pretty much any weapon you want. And we're gonna talk about revenge medals. So, okay. Yeah, yo, watch me get a revenge medal now. So I know exactly where that guy is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a, I'm a lich. Okay. It would have worked if my teammate didn't just jack my kill. You get the idea. You just literally, even if you, if you want them that quick, you can let them kill you. <laughs> Honestly, you can. Oh man, I thought I had recon. On. That's what I'm saying. If you want them that much, you can let someone kill you. Right. Remember where they are and just sprint towards them, bro. That's what I've been doing. Well, I haven't been letting them kill me, but near enough. You know what I'm saying? I'll just die and remember where they were and just, bro, sprint towards them, neglect everything else on the map and just run towards them. And that's how you get your revenge medals. I'm pretty sure you only need like 10 of them. So it's not that deep. It's really not that deep at all. Personally, like I somehow, I don't even focus on revenge medals actually anymore because when I'm going for the other challenges, I kind of just managed to get them. Do you know what I mean? I kind of just managed to get the revenge medals whilst I'm going for the other challenges. So it's quite weird. Revenge medals, honestly, I don't think you really need any tips for that because it's like the easiest thing in the world. Come on, bro. I'm gonna wait here and watch the spawn. Oh, okay. Now what else is the bloodthirsties, bro? Oh, bro, I was barely looking at my screen. Bloodthirsties. I don't even think you need tips for bloodthirsties either, bro. Just go on streaks. You can play mad slow. You need five bloodthirsties all together to be able to get the challenge done. And I don't know, maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but I just find it mad easy. I just do it by accident. Now, like I said, these are tips for getting it as fast as possible. So realistically, you want to be doing a lot of these challenges at the same time. So what I do, I so these challenges for no attachment kills. So, you know, you got to take all your attachments off and get kills that way. 50 kills, I believe. And usually when I'm doing that, I'll get the blood verses at the same time. So it just gets rid of two at the same time. Like I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the revenge medals. I'll get the 50 kills with no attachments or, or with attachments. I'll get the double kills. Like that's pretty easy as well in hardcore. So just one shot, you legit just to shoot two bullets. But I'll be doing all of those at the same time in one game. So it's mighty easy, bro. With snipers, I believe it's like one shot, like instead of headshot. A lot of the stuff isn't that difficult. I remember one challenge in particular for ARs was like long shots honestly that's probably the most awkward one that's low-key probably the most awkward one out of all of them and that's not even that awkward oh you see that quad fire wrench you can do it like right off spawn which is just oh what the wait oh that was should have been <laughs> the reason why i'm not prestige right now is because Oh, okay. The reason why I'm not prestige right now is because so in order to get five attachments, you need to use wild cards. Wild cards obviously allow you to get more attachments. Teammate, my man. Wild cards obviously allow you to get more attachments onto your weapon. Now, primary gunfighter three, which allows you to get that fifth attachment. You have to unlock that, I think, at level 30. Oh, wait, what the flip? You have to unlock that, at, I think, level 32. Now, 32 is pretty easy to get to, but again, if you're trying to do it as easy as possible or as fast as possible, 
and you don't want to waste like an unlock token on that then i would personally recommend not prestiging but yo if you are going to prestige then if you pre-ordered the game obviously you guys know you got an unlock token i would use that on probably the final weapon in the set that you're going diamond for at that particular time because i remember when i was doing it for the lmgs i had to permanently unlock the final lmg because it was at like level 40 something and honestly i weren't really trying <laughs> i weren't really trying to rank up all the way to that I'm gonna be, be real. I'm gonna be old. Oh, quad feed once again. Alright, we finally got firing range. So I can show you guys what I'm actually talking about when in terms of long shot. So look, off the rip right here, everyone runs here. Look at this. Everyone will run past here. You see that? And you're able to get you're able to get long shots. That's a long shot. Now if I wanted long shots, I would have just sat there. I would have just sat there, stayed sat there, probably would have got that guy. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta put all of these together. You gotta think about it. And yo, here's another long shot spot. Right here. They start spawning down there, and some of them sometimes run down this tunnel if you can get them whilst they're quite far back you gotta hope they're spawning there first of all which i don't know but yeah man I feel, i'm pretty sure i've explained everything or at least everything i do and you guys know i've got i've got diamonds already so I'm, I'm pretty sure i know what i'm doing you know what i mean i'm pretty sure i know what i'm doing okay the, the guy right over here now the reason why i use recon by the way if you're a little bit confused is because i get this sensory dart i use the sensory dart to kind of i don't know have an idea obviously where people are there's another long shot I have an idea where people are but i don't use it to push straight up to people I use it to be able to know how I'm supposed to flank him and that's how you're supposed to use it really if you're going for the headshots be cool there we go you see you see how that spot worked just now but yeah I use it to like flank him and also the vision pulse which is the main part of uh, this specialist bro it's so easy to like line up headshots you can see him through walls so you can like if I, if someone's running past here I would sit here and like headshot height okay all right nice sick I hate those things a few more So make sure you guys go for that man, I'm pretty sure I've explained everything, snipers, one shots, blood first, all that different stuff, it's pretty self explanatory, it's just in terms of like the main assault rifles, LMGs, submachine guns, all of those things, even pistols bro, hoppings are hardcore because those headshots will become a lot easier, snipers, you, it's going to be a challenge because you'll get one shots, I'm pretty sure it's for blood thirsty challenges as well, so it's like, because obviously you don't want to be going up against people that can also kill you with one shot, like what the hell, with like any weapon, suck that, I'm going to go in normal core for snipers, yeah man, thanks for watching, hopefully this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in the next Oh, Shout out my label, that's me. I'm in this bitch with TB. I'm in this bitch with 4 I just pulled up me a A. Real nigga all in my face. 500 racks in my safe. 500 racks to the plug. What you know about showing love? What you know about pulling up? And build the trust. Make these bitches fall in love. All of my niggas on go. None of my